Hi all, welcome to the Conti Surveying Studio. A very happy new year to everyone. Hope you all are doing good. This video is going to be about some tips while preparing a BOQ. Some things that you need to know before you start this task of preparing a BOQ. Please note that pricing part is not included, the rate analysis part. This is just the structure of a BOQ, the quantity takeoff and then converting it into a BOQ. So let's start this video. So first and the most important thing you need to understand what the requirement is, what the scope is. So that will involve the description of the project like whether it is a school project, a residential project, an oil and gas project or what kind of project it is, the details like how many floors it is, whether it is a renovation or a new build. So all those kind of things, the location of this project, all those project description details needs to be known to the team who is going to make the BOQ. Then the takeoff elements, like sometimes the scope might be just you need to do the architectural uh, takeoff. The rest will be dealt with some by somebody else, maybe some other consultant or some other contractor. So that takeoff elements, whether it is a complete elements that needs to be taken off, which includes architectural, structural, MEP, interiors, externals, all the elements that is involved in a construction project. That needs to be cleared. Next is a template in which that BOQ needs to be prepared. So usually it would be a standard method of measurement. There are a lot of method of measurement depending upon requirement. There is NRM, ARM, SSM, SMM. So depending upon where the location for for example arm is usually used it's agreed rules of measurement which is usually used for ireland based projects then there is nrm which is usually used in uk middle east sesam is usually used for infrastructure projects smm is usually not being used now then there is master format which is being used by the us projects so that needs to be clarified and sometimes there might also be some client specific formats. There is also Indian standard, the IS, I think it is IS 1200, which is used to prepare the BOQ. So that needs to be confirmed by client or the consultant to for whom you are preparing the BOQ, because this is very important because later on, if this is not clear and if you make it in one format, and actual requirement works for another project then it is a complete rework to be done next is the communication metrics so how the communication needs to be done the single point of contact if anyone is there so like we need to interact with someone based in the client side or the designer side or the consultant side so that needs to be clearly structured out how the communication is who all are the stakeholders that are involved in this specific task in the complete project there might be a lot of uh, stakeholders but for this particular boq task preparation there might be a few people who are important and those details needs to be sorted out and made clear and a structure needs to be provided the query list how the queries needs to be sent uh, there might be some format and also how the transmitting protocol to whom we need to be sending it sometimes it should be sent every friday or every day by end of the day so all those and by how many days we need to get the response all those needs to be cleared out so this is very important because there would be a lot of queries obviously and something that i've noticed is that the responses to the queries don't come in a quick turnover time they leave those queries it all or else it takes a lot of time to get the response so the boq team usually makes some assumptions so that also needs to be made the clear like when you make like i've already made videos on how you can make a query list so maybe i'll make another video in detail like what are your tips that you can use to make a query list so that you are on a very safer side in case if you don't get any response how you can be on the safer side so that details needs to be made clear of the timelines so what are the deadlines on which the boq needs to be submitted the different dates so sometimes it is 
specified that a package wise submission needs to be done some like some priority packages might be there for example the interior package needs to be submitted by this date the mechanical part needs to be submitted by this date so sometimes that details will be that dates will be provided and based on that we need to give priority and start our takeoff and then preparing the bill and for that there might can also be some trackers to get the status we need to update it every end of the day to like on a percentage wise like how many percentage of the work is completed so that the stakeholders will get to know like what is the situation of the project and whether everything is going uh, on the right time everything is being carried out properly or not in the correct timeline so the timeline details needs to be specified then the reviews and meetings again when the meetings and reviews will be happening there might be weekly meetings with that team to understand what the problems are or any any details needed any drawings or design details which are incomplete which which we which is required by the boq preparation team and any other issues also all these needs to be sorted out through meetings so that also needs to be specified like weekly twice there would be meeting or weekly once wherein we need to present what all are the issues or what are the helps that we as a boq team need from the design team or the consultant or the client team so these were the main things that or the main items or elements that is required to start building up a boq if all these are clear then almost the boq preparation process is smooth i don't i won't say that it will be smooth because there would be a lot of issues there will be a lot of difficulties along the way i have faced a lot of difficulties in my tenure right now because i have been involved in this kind of outsourcing boq preparation works for the past almost 3 years more than 3 years now it's not always smooth a uh, boq preparation bro there are a lot of people whom we need, where a lot of coordinations need, that needs to be done like basically i'm i'm from the m and e background i need to coordinate with the civil team even the civil team needs to coordinate a lot of things with the map team a lot of coordination needs to be done with the design team so without a proper coordination a proper boq structure is never possible so hope these tips would be useful for you when you do the preparation of boq next time So thanks a lot for watching this video. Please do subscribe to Quantity Saving Studio. Do like this video if you found it to be useful. Share it with your friends. And so thanks a lot for watching this video. Thanks. Bye.